everybody. It's me, Stella Wild. Thanks for stopping by for your November 2018 tarot and energy scopes, I guess we can call them. A few announcements before we get into your monthly. First of all, please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already done so, so that you are notified as soon as I post new videos. I do post also a weekly video. Um, Sometimes I do all the signs, sometimes I just do it by element, but you definitely want to check those out. Um, two other quick things. I have launched a Jupiter in Sagittarius luck and opportunity forecast. It goes sign by sign um, by the astrological houses, so you know exactly how Jupiter is affecting your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign. You get all 12 signs for one price. I will put the link in the description. Uh, Jupiter enters Sagittarius in November on November 8th. So you might want to check out that offering. It's over six hours of videos. Yeah, <laughs> six hours. Um, and the other thing is that I am running a Halloween reading special. There's only a limited number of those. There are 20 minute deep dive into one issue, one particular question, one particular issue in your life because it's only 20 minutes. And I'm the type of person you probably know if you've been watching my videos the last couple of months, I'd rather go, you know, one inch wide and one mile deep into a topic than, you know, into all different things. So. Um, anyway, if that's of interest to you, I will leave the link in the description. And as always, I really appreciate all of your comments, all of your likes, all of your shares. It really helps me grow my channel and um, help more people with the intuitive messages that I have to share. So thank you very much. And now let's get into your monthlies. See you on the other side. Hey Scorpio, so we're back and we're going to be doing your reading now. I am going to be using the Psychic Tarot by John Holland and I'm going to be using his Spirit Messages Oracle card deck. We'll pull an Oracle card for you at the end. My lovely cat Ariel is sitting here and there she goes. She's walking in front of me now. Um, she has a special message for y'all Scorpios. There she is. She's saying hi. She's saying we love our Scorpios. Whoops. <laughs> She's saying, look at that face. How can you not love that face, right? Okay. All right. I know everybody thinks their own cat is the best. I know. I know. But my cat really is the best. <laughs> Okay, Scorpio, my darlings, I've been shuffling, I've been contemplating. Um, we are going to be doing a Celtic cross spread for you. I haven't done these yet on my channel, but uh, this month I'm feeling called to do it. The way I do a Celtic cross is, yes, I lay out 10 cards, but I like to do what I call extending the reading. So I pull several cards after the outcome card to see how the energy plays out after the outcome manifests. So I will be explaining all of that to you as we, <laughs> as we do the cards. The way I do these monthlies is, of course, they are general. Excuse me, I have to shift. <laughs> they are general. If this reading does not resonate with you, please make sure that you watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign. I will know what the area of life um, your reading is speaking of as soon as I start seeing the cards. Okay, so let's see. I feel like these are these are ready to go. Okay. Yep, we got a nice clean, I like a nice clean break. Okay, here we go course the cat is in the way so let's see all right so far this is all about money so far Scorpio this is all about your money all about your money Scorpio this month which so far I mean I'm not quite finished laying out the cards but so far, I have three pentacles and your sacral chakra card. And sacral chakra is all about money and creativity. So, yeah. 
And you know, this is fitting because Venus is going retrograde, excuse me, well, it went, I'm filming this on October 30th. So today and tomorrow, it's like at zero Scorpio Venus and it's going back into Libra. So, um, you know, it's going to be, if you have Scorpio rising, it's going to be in that 12th house of the behind the scenes, the hidden, the guardian angel. Um, so when it starts moving forward again in your sign, it will be in your sign back in the middle of November. So I think there's some still, from what I'm seeing from these cards, there's perhaps some subconscious issues, um, to look at regarding your creativity and your money and manifesting and wrapping up the cycle. It could be a job. I have to pull out the rest of the cards. Um, your dreams, your intuition will be very potent. I mean, they always are around our birthday, but, and of course with you being Scorpio, your intuition is very heightened anyway. But especially with this Venus retrograde in your 12th house, if you have Scorpio rising, your intuition is going to be particularly informative for you, especially in regards to your finances and your creativity. So um, be on high alert, Scorpio. I'm oh, sorry, I have to adjust my chair. Be on high alert this month of November, especially the first, well, actually the whole month, even when it's in, in your 12th house, even when it goes direct in your first house. Mercury does go retrograde on November 16th, right after Venus gets out of retrograde. So even though you may try to move forward on the information that you get from your intuition, from your guardian angel, from your dreams, even though you may want to try to move forward with that information, Mercury is going to be retrograde. So it could be hard to kind of gain momentum. And I'm also saying that because the card in your current position here is the eight of wands and it's upside down. So John, I'll just show you the card, John Holland. And like I said, I'm not done laying the cards out, but John Holland calls this positive movement forward. This is upside down in your current position crossed by the world card so you've been unable to wrap up you're trying to wrap up a cycle of rather uh, fruitless pursuits shall we say now these cards are mostly in money so far but this can also be a fruitless pursuit of um, a love relationship you know an unrequited love a uh, an imbalanced, you know, relationship in, in the love department. It can also, but so far we have money cards, but let me see what else we have. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Interesting. I, I gotta pull one more. So I'm looking at these, I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm like, I knew I, I needed one more for you guys. Okay. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You are going to have an unbelievable success in November, Scorpio, with your money. We have two success cards here. After this period of... Um, of lack and being unable to move forward, I feel from the, um, I feel when, even though Mercury's gonna be retrograde, it doesn't matter. I think what that's going to be for you is that, and Mercury's going retrograde in your second house, if you have Scorpio rising, it's going retrograde in Sagittarius. So I think what could be very interesting for you, Scorpio, is that the first half of the month with this Venus retrograde, you end up getting the psychic downloads, the information, the hits, the knowledge that, um, and the reassurance that this period of fruitless, fruitlessness, you know, things not manifesting, is coming to an end. And the second half of November is going to be bang on with your money, your success. Um, if, and remember, this is a general reading, but if I have Scorpios that are dealing with a relationship issue, uh, you are going to be 
taking time out in November to really um, come to a decision about that relationship in which you get back your power. Okay, I'll get to that. That's coming in your outcome. What's of, of greater emphasis in this spread, though, is about, like I said, ending a period where things were not gelling financially now th and, and, success, and, and your success. And now it's all going to kick off. It's all going to be good. So let's get into this. Um, you're coming into November with this uh, Six of Pentacles upside down. So the material and spiritual prosperity is just not there. You know, it's upside down. So the support you were expecting to have from people, the um, money you thought you were going to get, the, um, you know, sense of satisfaction you thought you were going to have in some sort of material or creative pursuit just didn't happen. That's what you're coming into November with. And as a result, you know, you want that cycle to be over. I already explained this card. Positive movement forward, it's upside down. You're like, nothing is moving. Like, what the hell? Nothing is moving. You know, I want this cycle to end. Well, it's going to end. It's going to end. Because, you know why it's going to end, Scorpio? <laughs> you know why? Because you're finally embracing your creativity and you're moving forward confidently into embracing your creativity and your prosperity like any um last bit of of fear and not wanting to i mean it's not that not wanting but a bit, you know sometimes people get nervous about having too much having having prosperity they think that maybe it will compromise their spirituality in some way or they think that if they have certain things it's because they're being greedy you know there's there's sometimes very complex and mixed messages that happen around money that people get from their family from their friends media you know all that stuff um but you have gotten out of that you have the Eight of Swords upside down in your recent past, Scorpio. So any um, feelings, I don't know why this keeps doing this, any feelings of, of feeling like you are um, not deserving, because this is the Swords, this is your, your thoughts, you know, almost fearful of being successful, you transform that. You're like, no. I am stepping into it. I am embracing it. I am welcoming it. I am stepping freaking into it because in the near future, you have the sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is all located um, below your belly button and below your, you know, root chakra, your, you know, genitals. So it's right in, for women, it's right in your womb. It's your womb area for men, lower belly. Okay. So the sacral chakra, I love this orange, right? Isn't this beautiful? So you in the near future, Scorpio, for most of November are embracing fully your creativity. The sacral chakra rules creativity and money and money. And in your heart, here's another chakra card, your base chakra, which is all about family roots. This is also about your basic needs, your security needs, your uh, food, clothing, shelter, um, taking care, being able to take care of yourself on a very basic level financially. That's in your heart. You are tired, Scorpio. You are done and tired. Uh, and this applies to some Scorpios, not all, but with any lack, like you are you're taking care of number one now in all ways. This is in your in your heart. Taking care of number one. That you have been trapped in fear of other people's expectations of you, other people's um, limits. And they got inside your head. They got inside your head, Scorpio. They got inside your head. They, you know, they said some bullshit to you. They... They, um, you know, made you doubt yourself perhaps, or they made you think that somehow you were not deserving or that you had to stay in a little box. You couldn't branch out. 
Um, you know, you couldn't fully blossom. You had to, I'm sorry, I have to shift. You had to stay in the little role that they had assigned to you. And now you're like, oh, hell no. Like, <laughs> I am busting out into my creativity because in my heart, I want to be able to say that I can take care of myself fully. And part of taking care of yourself fully is utilizing your creativity. You know, why do we have creativity? It's to be used and to be celebrated. And I'm not saying you have to necessarily, you know, make money at it, but you're going to be because this creativity and um, this, this um, imagination and problem solving and um, this, this excitement and joy that you generate for this thing that you do that makes you feel so powerful is part of your creativity. You're going to be bringing something into new life, okay, For that, that will bring you material prosperity in the month of, no of November. Um, because you want to take care of number one, and taking care of number one involves also using your creativity. Oh my gosh, look at these cards. In your environment, victory and success, six of freaking wands. This is beautiful. You are going to have a huge, like a victory. I love this card with him blasting the horn. Like your success is going to be announced far and wide. Not only that, but in your hope and your fear, you have the ace of swords. You have the triumphant success. So that is what you're hoping for. That's also a little worry. That's a worry that you're worried that you're not going to get it. But guess what? You are going to get it. So what you're hoping for, this triumphant success, is absolutely going to manifest. It's going to manifest. And here's the card that influences your outcome. Nine of coins. You are going to have material harvest this month, Scorpio. And it is going to light up that crown chakra. It's coming from these intuitive downloads that you're going to be getting that that tie into what you want to be creating this month, what you want to do with your imagination and your pro problem solving and your out of the box thinking. So because this material prosperity is coming, it's going to remind you, if you've forgotten lately, it's going to remind you about how powerful you really are. And as a result, you're going to be reevaluating areas where you don't feel as powerful. And that is probably in a relationship where a relationship has been a drain on you, has been, um, you know, probably a breakup. So what's, what's going to happen in the rest of November, so you're going to have this material success. You're going to have a little bit of a timeout, Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal, and you have the Six of Swords upside down. This going back over old emotional ground is going to happen for you. You're going to be reminiscing, thinking about, because um, this is, you know, swords, air, mind, thinking about things, emotional situations from the past, things that have moved on already. You're not going back to them. Not literally, but you'll be going back to them in your mind. You'll be revisiting certain situations in order to in order to gain wisdom from them. Scorpio is a sign that does tend to be very ruminative. I don't want to say brooding, <laughs> although they can brood. You know, they can sit there and and think and think and think and think and think and you know, brood on a situation. Um, I mean, that might be happening a little bit, but but it's it's so that you gain wisdom, so that you gain insight, because you want your emotional book of light, light. Well, yeah, your emotional book of light. I was going to say of life. That was a Freudian slip. Your emotional book of light. You want that to be as vibrant and light and beautiful as the material harvest that's coming for you. I mean, look at these two cards with the sun shining. So 
you want to go over, which is natural during Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde, you want to revisit mentally, not literally, mentally, some of these emotional situations from the past so that you move forward with a clean slate and you know you're not going to repeat those mistakes again. I do not think anybody is coming back. There's nobody coming back. I mean, if you have if you have Venus in Libra though, Scorpio, which you might, please watch the Libra monthly because if it's applicable to you, I, I just did Libras and Libras was all about somebody coming back. So if that's pertaining to you, please watch that video. Um, it's more that you really don't want to make the mistakes. Okay, so you got out of being trapped in fear regarding your finances. Now you want to get out of being trapped in fear from your emotional situations, your love life, your relationships. Okay, so you're going to be reprocessing some of that stuff and so that you can move forward. And by the end of November, you have the strength card, this beautiful power card. You're going to be feeling so powerful at the end of November, Scorpio. Um, you're going to be feeling much more connected to your creativity. You're going to be feeling much more uh, solid about your finances and being able to create abundance from who you really are. That, that's really what this is about, too. You know, your creativity, our creativity is our essence. You know, the, the thing I create, you can't create. You can't because what I'm creating has my own essence, has my soul in it, right? What you create, I can't create because it has your unique soul in it. So you're going to be feeling this sense of, of just incredible power over being able to show up and be who you really are creatively and be materially successful at it. And you're also going to be feeling very proud of yourself that you are making sense of emotional situations from the past and you are gleaning wisdom from them so that when a new relationship does come in for you, you're going to be even stronger, even stronger. And so because you're stronger, you're going to attract a different level of relationship next time around. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm so excited for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. I got to pull an oracle card. I'm getting out of focus there. I'm going to pull an oracle card for my lovely Scorpios. Let's see what you have. Yeah, seriously, if you have a situation where there was a breakup, I said in that Libra video, probably at the end of July, I was feeling that. If you've had a breakup within the last three months, please go watch, and you have Venus in Libra, Please go watch the Libra Monthly. It might provide some interesting insight for, for you, Scorpio. All right. Because, you know, astrologically, you have your Venus and your Mercury, either one sign before yours in your sign or one sign ahead of you. So it's possible that some of my Scorpios definitely have Venus in Libra. All right. All right. This one is popping. Ah, beautiful. This is your card for the month. Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. I think you're coming out of that. I think you're coming out of that. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. And I would say also from this, the more you focus on your creativity and be in that energy, uh, that is focusing on gratitude. Our creativity is, I mean, it just, it, it is like just part of us, right? So we kind of sometimes take it for granted. And yet anything we create, you know, the things that we create, we, sh we, we probably need to, to notice and be grateful for that. It's another way of, you know, as it says here, attracting prosperity and abundance, being grateful and thankful for our ability to create from our unique soul, from our unique, unique vantage point on this earth, because no two of us are alike. 
right? We're not. So this is such, I love this card for you, the gratitude. You're gonna be, you're gonna have a lot of reasons to feel grateful at the end of November, by the end of November, Scorpio. Very cool. Okay, that's it for me, Stella Wild. Um, please do like, share, subscribe, really helps my channel and I really do appreciate it. And also please leave comments. I love to hear how this resonates with you. I will see you in December 28, 2018. Yeah, I almost said 2019. 2018, let's not rush it that much, okay. Scorpio, have a great November and I will see you soon.